Hi, Joni. Come on in. We're so glad to have you in our home. Come on into the study where Mylon's waiting for you. Hey, Johnny. Good to see you again. We set out some things uh, before you got here to give you a little idea of what it's like in our study. This is my dad's guitar. A 1957 Martin D28. And wrote about 600 songs on that one. I still uh, get it out and dust the rust off of it every once in a while. There's that old case. That sucker's been millions of miles. And uh, here is uh, my son-in-law and my daughter, Summer, and Peter Furler. He has a band called the Newsboys, and he's still out leading people to Jesus, and I'm so proud of him. Here are some of the rock and roll records we made. In fact, this was my favorite. It was the first one, 1969. A little picture of the church that the band lived in. We rehearsed in every day. That was one of the first Christian rock records on the, on the earth. My mom and dad were gospel singers, and I guess that was back in the 40s before I came along. <clears throat> we made 33 gospel albums, and the rock and roll records, I think I made 13 of those, and and of course, there's me singing with Brother Copeland, who's my father in the faith, and I'm thankful for that. And um, the contemporary Christian albums, I think we had 11 of those. We made over 70 videos, and uh, we had lost some of them, but I, recently my son-in-law told me to go Google my name on YouTube, and I found 72 videos on there, so that was pretty cool. Here's my passport picture from 1971. I had to go to England for a while. I'd uh, gotten busted for drugs too many times in America. Here's the Georgia Music Hall of Fame, Gospel Music Hall of Fame. We got four Dove Awards, and I'm so thankful for our Grammy. You know, the awards of man are nice, but the Bible says that uh, if you gain the whole world and lose your soul, you haven't gained anything. Just looking at these reminds me of that. Hope you enjoyed our few minutes together in our home. We sure do love y'all, and we're thankful for you. Just remember the most important thing in our lives is Jesus is Lord. Amen. God bless y'all. Glad you came and we'll see you again. Have a wonderful day. Outside, his life seemed to be all anyone would ever want. But the truth is, Mylan's life was dangerously out of control and something had to give. No one knew that it would be his heart. It was a heart attack that changed everything. Now, Mylan, you actually came back to the Lord, was it 1980? Yes, ma'am. 1980, and then started the group, um, Mylan Lefevre and Broken Heart. Yes, ma'am. Which was an amazing group that reached thousands and thousands of young people that Mylon and his group led to the Lord. And you really were some of the first uh, contemporary Christian music. We did that first Christian rock record for Atlantic Records in 1969, but I wasn't grounded in the Word. And I, when I came back to Jesus in 1980, everything changed. I quit as the little video showed and mm -hmm. became a janitor there mm -hmm. at Mount Perry and started going to Bible school. And it was obvious to me that the only thing that counted was he, Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw them in unto myself. Mm -hmm. So the second time I went out, uh, when I gave my life to Jesus, at that point, music was my life. So all my songs are filled with the Word of God, mm -hmm. and kids started getting born again. But we hit the road, and from 80 until 89, we were living out on, in a bus probably 220, 240 days a year. But we had over 200,000 kids come to Jesus. But I was 48 years old. I had been on the road, you know, since I was 15. And I was in the back of the bus with talking to a couple of guitar players on the way to Nebraska to do a gig and I had a heart attack. And uh, I think, uh, I know it wasn't God. God's the giver of life and we have a thief. He comes mm -hmm. to steal and kill and destroy. So I know it wasn't God, but he always uses those situations for good. He does. You know what the devil meant for bad. I think if you go through the valley of the shadow of death and, and only God can take care of business and he does, mm -hmm. you don't ever forget how that happened. Yeah. You know, a, a lot of sermons you forget, a lot of good teaching you forget, but what you learn in your direct relationship with God, it was amazing to me how he sent Brother Copeland. And Brother Copeland was the first guy I'd ever met who did not pray for me but who knew who he, his authority on the Lord. And he took authority over my heart. 
And he spoke to my heart and commanded it to live and not die. Mm. And I mean, when I had a CAT scan. You know, your heart's just a big muscle. And a CAT scan shows heat and life. And, and, and they had one before and after God healed me. And, and your, your heart, if there's no blood flow, it just shows that part black. It shows mm -hmm. it as dead with no heat. And I have that second CAT scan and I have a new heart. Wow. And the doctor that said awesome? that was impossible. So that changed my life, you know, to find out that you could actually live by faith, that there was something that I didn't know. You know, there was a guy in the Bible who, who found a pearl of great price. Mm -hmm. He found something that was so valuable to him that he sold everything and he went and bought that land so he could get that thing that was of value. Yes. And when that happened to me, I sold everything in Atlanta and I came here to Texas to go to Brother Copeland's church to learn how to live by faith in And God. you met this beautiful lady who's I sitting beside you, Miss Christy. Welcome to the Thank Joni you. Show. Yay. And you guys have been married how long now? 11 years. 11 years. Best and, 11 years of my life. And God has restored so much back to you, hasn't he, Milo? You know, he said in the book of Joel, he said, you give me your life, I'll give you back what sin took away from you. Yes. And he says, he says, also, I'll give you back the years. Yes. You know, I'll be 65 this year. And he has given me, he is giving me, he's renewing my youth. He, I like I'm your enjoying. hair, by the way. Well, thank you. I like that, the, the gray and the, the black mixed in salt and pepper. Very yeah, nice. God's better at dyeing yeah. hair than anybody he else. Is. You know? <laughs> he is, he is. And Christy, uh, the man of your dreams. I mean, did you have oh, any yes. idea? Well, you know, I was an interior designer in Dallas when we met, and he was a client, and we were genuinely friends first. <laughs> That's right. And God just overtook us with his blessing, and yes, I did not know it was possible. I've never loved the way I love Mylon. Yeah. I'm so thankful. God is so good, and we go everywhere together, spreading the good news of the gospel, bringing good tidings of good things, reminding others that God is a God of restoration. Yes. And it's so important for them to know when they hear Mylon's testimony that we, we serve a God where nothing's impossible for him. Yes. It's never too late for our God. It's never a hopeless situation yes. because we serve a God who raises the dead. Yes. After the break, why nothing Mylon has lost or suffered compares to where God has brought him to. Stay right there. came to Jesus and asked him what he must do to inherit eternal life, Jesus said, give away all you have and follow me. When we live for ourselves, we will only find disappointment and pain. But when we give up all for Christ, then we know what living is all about. Can I, can I just say something before the show's yes, you over can. to you the sure people? Can. If you're watching today, you know, I don't know what's going on in your life. I, I like to testify because the Bible says that Satan is defeated by the blood of the Lamb. That's what Jesus supplied, the Lamb yes. of God, and the word of our testimony. So I don't mind talking about all the mistakes I made, but I do want to emphasize this before we leave today. I don't care what's going on in your life today. My God is so good. The reason I don't do heroin or cocaine anymore is I found what I was looking for. Yes. And once you get in love, God is love, and God loves you. And he wants to prove it to you today. He has some magnificent things that he wants to accomplish. He just wants to uh, open up. Uh, uh, the Bible says it this way. He said, I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. And they're to bless you and to prosper you and not to harm you. There's lots of problems in the earth today. But if you'll give your life to Jesus, they won't be your problems. Yes. He will fix everything. He will make it all better. And he will prove to you how good he is. King David said it this way. He said, I don't know what would have become of me had I not expected to see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Yes. And I expect that every day, and I get to see that every day, and you can too. Amen. Thank you, Mylon, for that good word. There is a prayer line. It's on the screen. If you'd like for someone to pray with you, 
I want to tell you something. It's no accident that you're watching the show today. Many of you remember Mylon. You remembered his music. And the Lord it just has a special encouraging word to you today from Mylon that you can make it. You can begin again. You can start over no matter what you've gone through, no matter what mistakes you've made. We're here to tell you that Jesus loves you. He cares for you so, so very much. And just like Mylon's song says, without him, we can do nothing at all. Thank you so much, Mylon Lefebvre and Christy. Thank you, audience. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for today.